Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode three of Shadowrun Excommunication. Um, I am Jason Azevedo, your Game Master, of course, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in. A couple quick announcements that we'll go through, and then we're going to jump right back into the action with this fantastic cast of Shadowrunners. First off, of course, we are playing Anarchy with a mix of Sixth World. What that is, is an alternate rule set called Anarchy that was for 5th edition. Um, we're taking the majority of our mechanical rules from this book because uh, we're just we're beginners and we just jumped into this and it was a lot easier to kind of digest. But then we've injected it with a bunch of 6th world as well. Um, for that reason, we're going to be giving away one of these books uh, woo, 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 for those of yes. you at home that are interested. If you're interested, in the chat, write excommunication, E-X-C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-I-O-N. Uh, oh, something like that. Communication. <laughs> Ex just check the chat. Uh, they'll tell you how that works. Uh, but yeah, enter uh, more than once. You will be disqualified. So do not do that. Also, after the show tonight, make sure that you tune in to the after show for this uh, episode on the Catalyst YouTube channel. Uh, they'll be digging into kind of the mechanics and what went on in the episode and taking a deep dive into how we used this to do all this. Um, which we're very, very excited about as well. I think that's all the announcements. Uh, very, very short. So thank you very much for tuning in. If you like what you see tonight, consider subscribing and sharing and following and all that wonderful stuff. Without further ado, uh, for episode three, let us venture into the shadows. Welcome back. All right. Last we left you all, uh, it was a bit of a shopping episode. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, we checked in with a uh, contact of Liv's called Frenchie, who runs Frenchie's Boutique. Um, that was a lead that they wanted to follow to kind of figure out maybe what they could about Bitbucket. Unfortunately, a bit of a dead end when it came to that direction, but also used to potentially reach out to Torin. That, unfortunately, was a bit of a dead end as well. Uh, but you did get some grenades, so really uh, win-win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, win -win. all, all, all around. Free cigars. But was it a dead end? I know, right? No. Sure well, they, technically, he, technically, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. We maybe. 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 You don't no. know. Game Master, tell us more. Well, actually, uh, you jumped into your Jeep. You headed to the last known coordinates of where Torin may have been. Um, Blaze going into the astral plane, projecting himself into the astral plane, and actually navigating and finding a broken device comm link in a dumpster where his no last known whereabouts were. Mm. At that moment, within the astral plane, he, said he saw some gray, uh, gray non-astral hands kind of dip into the manhole right beside where the dumpster is and disappear. And that's where we ended the episode. And that's where we pick up this episode. Blaze, what do you do? Um, Blaze uh, goes, frack. Because he knows that he can't, I know that I can't follow him down and come back until the team because they can't hear me. I, my body is just dead in the car right now. So I'm actually going to start by summoning a spirit then hopefully give us some commands that might assist me in this moment. Okay. Cool. So conjuring, I'm yeah. a little bit weaker in. Sure. So I got to roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dice. So not quite as good that's as my not magic. so weak. That's weak. That's no, pretty, that's, that's, that's that's pretty good. That sounds pretty solid, dude. <laughs> Come on, money. So I got three hits. Yep. So that should be enough yep. to get my little Absolutely. force elemental out there. Yep. And that should give me just enough hits to give him all the tasks that I need to do. Because sure. you get one task per hit. 
Sure. Um, so I'm going to bring, I'll bring my stats later on him. Yeah, 100%. Um, so that way if you need a pop. So he, he kind of pops out into the uh, uh, astral plane right now. Yeah, he's so he's not, not visible he, at all. He's so not in visible fact, at all. what you see is a projection of how I experience my own magic. Um, and in fact, unbeknownst to what Blaze charist uh, characteristically is, who is very, whose emotions literally are worn on his sleeve, you actually see a hummingbird come out in the shape of flame. Oh, I um, love that. In the shape of in, in, in like flames? flames? Yeah, in flames. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because they embody, they, emb they, they embody um, the element that you summon them in. And I'm summoning an element of fire. Okay. Beautiful. All right. I and love it. And it kind of flits around you in the astral plane. Yep. And so I'm going to give it the three commands, which is follow. Yep. Report back to me if stopped. Yep. Uh, let's see what the last one I wanted to do. Um... Report back to me before sundown. So I think it's the middle of the day, right? Uh, it would be later in the day at this point. Later in the day? Yeah. Report back to me before sundown, because element elementals cannot exist past sundown or past sunrise. Yeah. Okay. Great. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, okay, so in that case, um, in that case, uh, we're not in initiative. So if uh, you're all just waiting on him to come back in and report. Yeah. So let's do those in order. As I well, just like a reminder, uh, you do have edge. Throughout, just right. remember that you do have edge that you can spend Dicks, right? yeah. throughout the uh, right. game. I've been completely not the amount is in the that. corner there. Oh. Uh, you also use edge for uh, a uh, like a life saving mechanic, yeah. like a death yeah. save. So just remember that when that, if that kind. And that, but uh, edge once edge gets spent, when does it come back? Like basically, like long rest, kind of like you're able to kind of come L back. Long rest and, situations. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's yeah. not gotcha. the same with karma, though, right? No. Yeah. Karma is a sign. Karma Car Karma's burns a sign. Out. It's like experience. You spend it and it's gone. Okay. Yeah. And then plot points again can be spent as well. You all started with two, and I gave one to you. Yeah, for I got that. one. And those also don't regenerate. They don't regenerate. Okay. So pl our plot point. Oh, I spending plot points own. is right there. This yeah. is awesome. Okay. 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 So what's the first action that you want to do again? Uh, so that was follow. Uh, follow and track. Report back to me if target if basically the target stops. Um, report back to me before sundown when you would disappear. Okay. Follow the target. Come back to me when the target stops. Okay, and you're following whatever just was in the, the spirit manhole. is going to follow whatever whatever I tar I said okay. follow whatever's down there. Okay, and I'm gonna head back to my body in the vehicle. Sure. So you see as it kind of flits around and goes whoop, in down through the sewer grate. Right. Okay. Uh, at that point, you don't know what happens. Um, you find yourself back and you watch <clears throat> Talon, uh, Talon. You watch Blaze come back into his meat sack. Uh, and now you are all back together. And I'm right next to you. You okay, son? Yeah. Got to move quickly. Something so Comlink in the dumpster right around the corner here. Um, you can probably grab that one or you. It's sitting in the back left hand side of the dumpster. But someone just went down the grate right next to it right now. If we're going to follow him, we got to get to him right now. Copy that. All right. Okay. And you drive up basically into the intersection and kind of pull off to the side where the grate and the dumpster is. Hop uh, out of the car. Yeah, I'll uh, yeah. I'll hop into the dumpster and grab the comm link. Okay. As you grab it, it's kind of like busted in half and like right. there's wires kind of holding it. Yeah. I think I can fix it. Oh. You can absolutely try. Yeah. And so, okay, so you take the take it out. You start pulling like wires out of your cyber deck to try right, and right. sort of and I have do a diagnostic. Yeah, you kind of plug it in, you have an ele electronic skill. So how about we uh, roll an electronics check, uh, which that. again is the dice in the uh, the amount of dice in the parentheses. Are there any cameras in this alleyway that we're in? Uh, not that you can see. Okay. This is a dark zone. Uh, I'm gonna park the car around the corner and I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna start to push the dumpster so that it's kind of hiding the car a little bit. So interesting. It's, okay, it's so you start pulling into in the alley. thing and then you just kind of like, okay, yeah, cool. All right. Six. Six. Nice. All right. Wow. Except for the last episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you start to access it, and you're you're getting bits of data. It's okay. broken data, but you're getting bits of it. Okay. Um, as soon as I have it, I will let you know. Um, same thing. Signal went dead here. Um, he, it was Torin that last logged into it before it died so he it appears that he maybe ditched it so he he logged into his device 
broke it, oh. tossed it, ditched it at that moment. Interesting. Oh. Just realize what it meant. <laughs> right. Um, I convey that to everybody, but yeah. are, we, are we running down the grate? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, so, so that's that. You've hidden the, the vehicle with the uh, dumpster. Does my drone fit down the grate? No, it's like a, a normal manhole where it has that kind of like slits. Are we all going and it down lifts. There? Uh, I will definitely go down there and I will make it a point to note that I am being stealthy as I'm doing so. Okay. Yes. <laughs> all right. I, I'm going to follow suit so she don't go alone and uh, I'm going to try and be as stealthy as possible except you see the light from the cigar. All right, all right. Uh, but you have stealth. But listen to everybody, I, I, I'm I, this body that I'm in that I come with is not that great. Uh, uh, I don't know if I should go down the grate. Maybe I should stay up here and uh, keep the eyes in the sky for us. I mean, oh, I have an aversion to you being left alone. I use second that motion. Not because I don't think you can handle yourself, but I worry. I can handle myself a lot more up here with everything that I have than, than down there. I'm, I'm going to be pretty useless. That's okay. Okay. But uh, I, I don't like the idea of being up here by myself either. But uh, do you want to stay with the car? I'll, I'll stay. I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you. You got this. Yeah. And you, you got the magic. I have the magic. You go with it. So we'll go. That's good. Yeah, we gotta go now. Okay. And I can always hook into the matrix and come to you somewhere. Right. right. And we're on cons. We'll we're all we'll, on cons. We'll let if you I know. need to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you three are staying above, and you three are, and you two oh, are going, going below. below. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, oh. So okay. And you're both gonna stealth. I'm Wait. assuming doing it. Stealth mode. Can I get stealth checks from you, please? Okay. Um, I'm not skilled in stealth, so what would I roll? That was that is an untrained, so it's just agility, plus any modifiers that might exist. Yeah, you know what? Go, go, go with Oh, it's agility plus agility, right? Together, because we can no. get Ooh, I do have. Skill. I have plus two dice for stealth tests. We all check. go together. So just four dice then. I just yeah. need you to look out for me. No, no, yeah. he's going down. Um, when I have an edge on stealth, okay. does that mean I get to re-roll some? What is that? How does that work? You use edge. Back up. It yeah. says my sure my chameleon suit gives me an edge on stealth. All oh, right, uh, I'm gonna go and, down and with. That's all it says. That, yeah, I mean it does other stuff, but uh, I think it gives you an edge off stealth by doing all the other things that it does. Got it. Okay. Edge point edge, okay. edge is, is something you spend. Right. It's not necessarily something that you. Uh, because I have cat like qualities, I add two dice for stealth tip. I'm, I'm also going to accompany them. I have we one hit. Up. Yeah. I'm gonna go down with them. Okay. Sure. Um, so one hit. Ten one. Plus three. I only, I only roll four dice for stealth. Three. Uh, so, because I just added yeah. stealth, six, I have six, ten six. plus my three from the uh, yep. ticks. Roll well, those first. Well, that was only two. But then I have three left. Let's see. Three. That's three. Okay. Yes. Three. All right. Six. Six. Wow. Okay. Um, marching order. She went in she went first. In first. Yeah. yeah, I, I went as soon I as I saw her. Before going. I just jump right in because I have low light vision. I want to see like what I can just from. Sure. Yeah. So as you start to kind of slink down, and you watch almost like she, uh, Liv makes zero sound as she kind of goes down this, and it's actually quite amazing. Um, and you can see that she's very skilled at moving through spaces quietly, especially like shafts and things like that. As you descend the ladder into the darkness. Um, you notice that it opens up into a sewer tunnel. Um, amid the rusty pipes, slick stones, and the metronomic uh, drip of filthy water, there is a pervasive stench of despondency and an inevitable rot to the reeks of humanity. Um, a large sewer tunnel stretches out before you, uh, and you can see that it opens up. It's very dark down here, but you can see that there's like a, like a really low light ahead, um, like a, a low glow. And this is maybe about a hundred feet, and then it opens up into a larger space. Uh, to prevent any sort of like verbal communication, can I, with because of my chameleon suit, can I uh, project that image up on the surface? Yeah. Like, so you're being super, super careful to be quiet, and you're like, I don't want to say anything. And then you hear clank, clank as he like ooh. comes down the ladder behind you. <laughs> Shh. Yeah. And I'm like doing all of these weird hand signals as though like he would know what I'm saying to him. But like, I know that I haven't taught him these, <laughs> yeah. but I'm like, 
<laughs> like an umpire? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love these signals that I know I have not taught you. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. at you. <laughs> <laughs> You hear like a slosh of water, and as you kind of turn and look, you can see that there was something that was kind of crawling low. And imagine there's like a like a sewer tunnel that is is round with a flat bottom that you walk along. There is a channel of water that is kind of rushing, and you can hear that it's rushing down and then dropping into this larger cavern. And there is a gate, like almost like a fence, halfway through to catch whatever debris from moving into this thing. You watch as something is kind of low and it kind of rises a bit. It's hunched over a little. And then you see it kind of like climb over the grate and then down into the space from the, from the tunnel that you're in. I mean, Alpha, I should. I don't think- you, unless, unless there's a skill now. Uh, there is a skill. I don't think that- Then uh, no, I don't have low light vision, but- Then I will skill. grab your wrist and point towards the, uh, the light and just make my, like the creepy hand gestures. At this point, you've joined them down. Yeah, and I don't think I was as quiet as uh, I intended to be. Yeah, you were quieter than Blitz. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm, from behind, uh, as you guys start moving forward, I'm going to pull out my flashlight and, and just click it on and off real quick. Click, click, just to see what I see in the... Yeah, at this point, you don't see what has gone. Basically, as you click it, you see the tunnel ahead of you, and then you see it opens up to a larger space that's lighter, but the flashlight basically disappears in the distance. Okay. As you click it a couple times. Did I see anything? No. Okay. Uh, I might be able to see something from where I am. Sure. Uh, I'm going to, yeah. uh, I'm going to jump into my drone. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, Frame knows how this works, so uh, uh, better than I do. Uh, I'm going to take my drone and either go over the grate and activate the uh, ultrasound sensor that I have. If I can still penetrate through the, the cement, then I'm going to let the uh, drone hover over the uh, the ground to penetrate the ground. And, and it lets me basically... Um, get like signatures of movement and yeah people. sure i mean sure. i can read the whole thing out no loud if you want. no i know what it, it does so yeah that's great uh, it will not penetrate rock or glass like it, it will bounce off but open mm -hmm. space it will absolutely great. um detect great. yeah great mm -hmm. uh so it comes down when you kind of pilot it across i'd like you to give me a piloting skill as you're trying to keep mm -hmm. it like from hitting the, the walls and yeah. just like so being quiet eat. uh i'm oh. i am uh, I, oh so no so, so, so i don't think it can go in right no, yeah so ultrasound doesn't penetrate thing but the nice thing is is even in darkness it can still see that's the beauty of ultrasound because it sends ultrasound it bounces, waves right it bounces and it sends it. ultrasound waves but it will not penetrate the ground so, it can't so what i'm thinking so you have is, to go down the thing if you want to uh because earlier you said that the the drone was too big to go through the grate did i say that yes. yeah I, it was too big to go through the grate, but once oh, the grate's open, grate open, it can go down the manhole. It's only a medium. Yeah, we have, we have a medium, medium drone. Oh, yeah. okay. God. That's we have a, we have okay, a well, oh, okay. three foot hole now yeah. to join them because then I can as the drone. Um, yeah, I do want to join them, but I don't trust that I'm very quiet because I don't have stealth. Well, okay. if you, uh, this are point, you he, saying he, over the calm, you, you want to do it? Going through yeah, the... yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just going to sound take... barrier breached. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, so I'm going to, okay, so I, I'm going to, you can help come down. and give her hits. That's exactly, um, that's great. I'm going to come down. What do I roll? Yeah, I don't stealth, have uh, so just agility. Oof. Do I roll my agility? Yeah, well? so that's what happened you to me. Stealth check. Um, <laughs> so my, I just, I, I whisper over comms. I'm like, this isn't gonna be pretty. This I'm is coming, not gonna I'm coming be pretty. for you. I'm coming this for you. This is not gonna be pretty. I'm sorry. Okay, well that's nothing for me. Oh, okay. Well, I got one. Yeah. You know, um, but I can also reroll something. I feel like I get oh, whatever he helps me with. I yeah. see. And there's three more. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. God. He's really coming in. <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Rio. Five hits. There you go. Come on. Very good. Come on, mama. Come on. She's, be quiet She's basically carrying you. <laughs> okay, three. Nice. Okay, with three. Again, you come down just as quiet as Rio did as right. he kind of helps you down and you set foot into this tunnel and you right. see what I mentioned. And I've got uh, my cyber eye you sure do. full on. So I nod and I'll lead if that's all right. And as she does, I'm going to pull out my, well, you know, I'm going to apparate my arrow and, uh, Okay. And I'm, I know I'm really yeah. short, so you can be shooting right over yeah. my head. They, the, oh, I can be behind them. The ultrasound is basically scanning ahead, and anything that's invisible is basically seen. It cancels out the invisibility. Yeah. And, and we don't see her. You're so damn quiet. I'm going to fucking yeah. shoot her. I'm yeah. out with like now katana. 
<laughs> sure. Okay. So at this point, you start to lead forward with your cyber eyes. I'd like you to give me a perception check. You all of a sudden feel the essence and warmth that passes you that you can't see and nobody else can see. And you know that your uh, spirit is back. And it kind of, you feel the warmth kind of radiate as it circles your head and as, as it circles your body, almost like uh, feeling a ghost and it goes cold in the room. Mm -hmm. You feel the warmth pass kind of around you knowing it's come back. Whoa. Okay. What is the, um, what is the feeling? What's, what's the intent that I'm getting behind it? Is it what? Is it loss? Is it confused? It's, it's it... reporting. It, you you told it to report back, back when yeah. it when it did, so it's it's following orders. So, not very long then that it went, that it came back to me. So, and it's and just sorry, just before that, yeah. uh, where do you want the drone to be going? Uh, the drone is behind them, okay. uh, above them, if okay. there's space above sure. in the sewer, and just constantly emitting the ultrasound sensors. Yeah. Okay, can you give me a perception check for the drone? Yes. Um, the skill provides me with um, using the ultrasound sensor in dim light or total darkness offers a bonus edge. If opponents can't see, offers a bonus edge against targets who are invisible and provides the ability to navigate in complete darkness by expending an extra minor action. Um, so uh, it doesn't tell me. I get. Yeah. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to because I think that's six sixth uh, six yes, rules. Yes. Uh, so what I would do is I would just get, I'll give you a bonus to perception when you're using the drone. Uh, the drone should have its own perception uh, in uh, sixth in the back of the sixth book. Uh, there is drone stats, which I should have uh, printed for you. I will print for you next episode. All right. It's this, it's this one. Okay. Um, but I will tell you real quick here. How long has it been since so the uh, since that entire encounter happened? Like five minutes? Yeah. Well, fun. You imagine it had the time to basically go down into that little cavern and come back at that area. And then it came back based on your Perception is logic and so oh, no. your drone. Um, Lord, did you go down? Uh, six. It Not has a zero willpower, so it's just yeah, six logic. Six so add plus two. No, so the, it's the eight for the gate. Yeah. Not yet. I'll pass that over for your drone uh, stats for now, and then I'll awesome. print them for you. The last thing was your pointing it out to me. Thank you. I'll take a picture. Yeah, so I'll forward. take a picture after I roll. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, and um, uh, this is. Am I controlling a vehicle? Do I still get the plus one to? No, this is just a perception through God. your drone. Yeah, you're not piloting it currently. One success. And I don't get to do any of the rerolls or anything like that either. Uh, it, not for piloting, but if you have anything that is like controlling a drone. Uh, control rig? Control rig says uh, control vehicles by VR plus one die to vehicle actions. Yeah, And there I you can reroll two die. So I get one yep. more. Yeah, and you get to reroll two. Oof, I reroll these two. I'll take that. Two successes. Two? Two okay. All right. Okay, back over to you uh, with the warmth of uh, that you feel. Uh, obviously, to, to uh, I'm assuming to communicate, you'd have to be on the same plane unless it comes to, so you can take an action to bring it into this plane and communicate with it, or you'd have to go with your, use your astral sight to be able to communicate with it because of the veil. Right. Mm. So you can operate it in this, in the material plane or somehow access the astral plane. No, I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna go ahead and let it, uh, let it go. Okay. Um. So it's completed its task. So it just kind of fizzles out sure. of, out of the astral realm. Yeah. Okay. Goes Great. back to where, back, back to where they live before being summoned. Love or collected. That. What was that perception check for you? Five. Uh, Five. Okay. Uh, and a two for you. Two for me. Okay. I am though gonna reach over because Liv's still next to me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab her and be like, get back within five minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let her know that. What did, what did you just should say? Yeah. Just, uh, uh, tar uh, target within five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So the tar with the person, the hands that we're looking yep. for is five is a five minute. Yeah. Five five forward. five minutes. Track ahead of yeah, us. Yeah, ahead of us. Okay. All right. With that five perception, you cross the entirety of this kind of hundred foot tunnel until you come to that half grate, the half uh, uh, fence kind of uh, railing. And you watch as water kind of spills in, and it's dirty sewer water, of course, and it stinks in here, and it smells even more and more as you get closer. But as you get down, you kind of crouch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, bunch your two perception checks together. You see what appears to be a large chamber 
with tunnels that stretch off in various directions. Uh, you also see that there are ramshackle kind of structures are sprawled everywhere as if a community of sorts lives down here. Um, you see a ramp that leads like if, if you go down, there's like a large kind of like um, this dumps into a large channel of water with landings on either side that all the kind of like buildings are. Mm -hmm. There's a little kind of like island area where there's structures that have been built out of various uh, pieces and and leftover things. Um, and there's a ramp that leads that down that goes up and to the right and then disappears down below. And down below, I would say, is about maybe uh, uh, 10 feet from where you are. Um, with the ultrasound, within some of these structures, you see movement of people. Um, but it's getting later in the evening. You imagine it's kind of quiet in here. It seems like he, your presence hasn't alerted anyone just yet. I will convey that to the group. Yeah. Um, is this something where, like, hmm, would public records, if I went into AR, would public records show, like, public access sewer tunnels like that? Not public. Right. So you'd have to be, like, I'd probably user in... access to a, a, of some sort of maintenance database. So um, that would be an admin situation. So that would be an ad, that would be a user situation. So, so not I would far. not have to go full into VR. I could go into. Uh, you can. Uh, well, you can access those both AR and VR. VR just allows it gives you a bonus because you're really deep. Right. Um, but user level is just it, it's an easier difficulty on my chart, and so it's just certain things are easier to access because it's basically you need a password. If you were a maintenance worker and you had to be down here, you access it, and that's easy to crack. At mid level is lower, and that's all the good stuff gotcha, that you gotcha, yeah. gotcha. But, Have we caught up to them yet? Uh, so they're behind you because you you were leading the way. So oh, you, you uh, oh, oh, oh I thought we were ahead a little. I didn't know you I guys leading, had walked was... forward. I thought you guys had stopped at the oh. bottom of the, of the thing. So you guys had walked forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We have, we, but I, I would say we're us. not far. Yeah, not I would far, say you far. guys you guys yeah. have come together at okay. the grate and yeah. you're okay. sharing the information. That one. Yeah. Them having been there, you joining, and you guys all kind of. Yeah, I share that my that within five minutes. The yeah. We just don't know what target target stop within five minutes. Yeah, yeah. We just don't know what direction, and there's three different ways we can go. There's a, a variety of tunnels that lead out of this um, that you can see. Uh, and and then there's, there's that ramp that goes up to the right and the channel of water that goes to the end into another tunnel that continues. And the movement is coming from, that I'm sensing is coming from? From, from the structures. The structures. So from the structures. Necessary. And, and they're really thin, thin walls, cardboard, paper, and when you Tense. were talking about the light source, is that what you were talking about with the light? So now that you see, there are there seem to be like lamps or LED lights, but really dim kind of throughout this space okay. that's creating this kind of light glow in the area. Mm -hmm. So is this like an encampment? It's like, it's like an encampment. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, I'm gonna whisper. I don't think we'll be welcome down there. It doesn't seem like they let newcomers in, right? I mean, this is pretty secluded. That's right above where the common kids. Yeah. I mean, I, I think whatever happened, we find out we down find there. Here. I just don't think we can drop in, though. Well, I don't think we should, like, come in hot, you know, just mind our business if we can. Trigger, is there any markers down here? Any what? Markers. Uh... Uh -oh. I'll go into oh. markers by what way? What do you uh, mean? Like matrix know. markers, because obviously I can't interact with them. I don't see them very well, so I'm asking if there's a, sure. There's okay, a so mark. That down would be here. an AR situation. Like yeah, that would be like yeah, you would do a a, a hacking test it's just or I mean, I mean a per the general perception. There's no cameras down here. Yeah, right, I was say there's, 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 uh, this is like I'm a, wondering if there's any, my to clarify aloud. I'm wondering if there's any technology down here. Yeah, is there it doesn't anything? appear to be any visible technology. There could be in the walls. There could be sensors that you don't see. But as it stands right now, you get the sense that this place is a safe space yeah. that isn't watched, that these people have- I was just gonna say, like, oh, okay. these there. don't look like people. If they came down here, it was for a reason. What? In that moment, your ultrasound sensor kind of tweaks and you see somebody kind of come out of their structure. Uh, and as they walk, you watch as this person's almost kind of hunched over, doubled over, they are, um, pale skinned they have long elongated fingers with like black claws that extend from each finger 
you watch as their faces are completely gaunt. This one particularly is bald, kind of like with stringy hair, that kind of, uh, and their eyes look almost like cataracts over. Uh, and as soon as you see this, I'm assuming you tell them right away, oh, yeah. as you all look with your real right. eyes, you can see this. And this this creature's maybe 100 feet, like 50, 50 feet away in the darkness. So you just kind of see them kind of like, and they have like rags or like beaten up old clothing and they kind of like walk out. Uh, and it looks like they walk over to something and they start like rummaging through a box close to their home that they just walked out of. And you said they look like they're... They, like yeah, they have completely full... gaunt, pale... But uh, eyes. I'm, yeah. I'm talking about the eyes. Do they look like they... they... Cataracts over. They're grayed over. Completely grayed over. Yeah. As they kind of like look around like this and then they go back to okay, gotcha. searching through their stuff. Right. So would I... Some... At, at this point, I would say with biotech. Yeah. Can you give me a biotech check? Yeah. Six. Okay. With a six, you absolutely know that you've never seen them. You've never dealt with them. You've never treated them or anything like that um, because they do stick to the underworld. But these appear to be creatures and people who were infected by the HMHVV virus, which is the human metahuman vampiric virus. What? Um, this is actually what they refer to as the Krieger strain which creates a feral type creature in most of its victims and most of those uh, afflicted with it. And they are known on the streets as ghouls. So they call them ghouls. You said the so HMHVV? HMHVV. Uh, HMHVV. Human metahuman vampire virus. Yeah. And you know that it's uh, a metahuman who is infected uh, with a type 3 virus becomes a ghoul. There is another strain of the virus that turns people into what you guys call vampires. But this is kind of the lesser strain. So this one's the, the more ghoul, feral strain. This is the ghoul variant. All right, yeah. so I'm going to I'm going to hold up a hand signal and hope that everybody understands what this means because it seems pretty universal <laughs> to not move. Um, I got you. <laughs> yeah, and 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 I'm going to suggest that we retreat a bit because uh I don't want to set off the I don't want to set off the like I want to let them know all of this stuff. Sure. They can't see their hearing. It, exactly. Is better, yeah. Exactly. So I I'd rather go back and and to convey it I'm going to flash it up on their So you kind of like step back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I want to all kind the, of like yeah, you, yeah. so you're right now you're only communicating through text yeah. through their comm links. Correct. Love that. And and do we know um I, I don't know how much we know about the ghouls cuz she made that role but do would we know that ghouls serve vampires? Like in the traditional way, do they, they hang out with each other? So, sometimes because they're outcasts, sometimes vampires will will rule or will like lead a pack of ghouls, depending on what they are. Right. Ghouls are unruly sometimes because again, they're very feral and animalistic. Some people wow. live normal lives, but they look like ghouls. So they're- That's what I was gonna say. They're they're still outcasts. Outcasts. Wow, wow. Yeah. So it's like, it, it, it so really So it's entirely depends. possible that this is like a civilization of ghouls. Sure. Yeah. You know, right, right, that, right. That, sure. That, could know more than we want. So I just wanted to fill everybody in. Yeah. By a... Yeah. yeah. Um, Your ultrasound detector goes off again. Uh oh. And as you kind of like, look, you watch as a, a an ultrasound doesn't have like detail. It's no. kind of like a shape. It's like, yeah. But you watch as a shape kind of walks down the ramp and uh, you watch as that shape appears to be wearing a house coat and like furry, big furry slippers. Hmm. And like takes a, it looks like a humanoid male and kind of takes a cigarette and you can see it. And all of you, if you I, tell absolutely, them. Absolutely, because I don't, I mean, my drone is just patched sure. into their comms. Yeah, I yeah. will speak. So you, you can send the messages via text as yeah. well. You can all be in that loop. Just ping them immediately. Yeah. As you ping them, you guys look over and it's Torin. And he is standing on the ramp with a cigarette and he smokes like this. He's wearing like a silk, cheap silk robe with furry furry slippers and kind of like does this and kind of looks around his hair he looks like he's trying to keep it nice but it's messy and he kind of like takes a thing and he kind of looks around a little bit and then he kind of turns around and starts walking back up the ramp can i yeah. for flavor just pick up a rock and just try to chuck it at the hit the cigarette out of his hands <laughs> he is he is some 
I would say like a hundred feet from here. Like he he is a distance. Okay, then that's so not you gonna could, work. but but he we is can. a little further than like he is like this big compared to where you can see him. Yeah, kind of. uh, probably is, not. Is there like a full encampment between us? Are there like a bunch of houses, like little? It's kitty cornered, so it's like so the ramp is on the right, and so. Diagonally, you would cross a couple of encampments, but if you were to go down and then across the wall and that and then up the thing, maybe you could sneak by and All right, go I to think, work. Uh, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I want to... <laughs> this is the problem with the tabletop games. I know. Is that I want to do the thing, but I have to converse with my teammates. Um, so via calm, I'll, I, via text, uh, what you'll see is... I think one of us should go down there and test the water. Go. Enough said. Uh, I'm gonna head down there, and gonna... I'm just gonna I'm gonna make an entrance. Well, not a big entrance, but I'm jumping down. So you're just going in. okay before he before he gets sure out of sight because I want him to see me land. Sure. I'm going to land down. Okay. So as you land, you land into the water because yeah. there is a channel. She kind of splashes up. Uh, immediately, the pungency of stirring the water comes up, and you smell it. Yeah. Can I just uh, say something? Sewage. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, oh, right. because it smells different than the fake shit that's up there. I love this. That. Smells yeah, real. That's good. That's very wow. good. 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 As you hit the water, um, you see him stop and drop the cigarette, and he looks back at you, and he takes off up mm -hmm. the. Uh, 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 start to take up off the ramp. Okay, so I've I've aimed it. He starts running. I will ping back up. He's moving. Get down here, and I'm going to take out. And you're you're going to take up after him. Okay. All right. All right. Chase um, sequence. <laughs> yep. At this point, as you land and that noise, and you you see that people start to stir out of their encampment, and you watch as like curtains start to be pushed aside, and people start to kind of like crawl and creep out and we're talking probably like a dozen individuals in this area who begin to kind of come out to see what that noise was let's roll initiative oh, to track no. movement and go from there what was that again agility Ooh. Uh, agil uh, uh initiative is six plus agility plus any modifiers from shadow amps six or otherwise plus agility one, two, three, four, five, One, two, six. Three, six. six plus any modifiers plus agility. Nope. Mm -hmm. i don't got modifiers for that and I'm going to. What should I do with reluctant leader? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus agility. I did way better this time. Man, I sucked this time. Jason, I'm going to call <laughs> yep. it ahead Three, of time. Four, yep. Um, Because five, I six. see them coming out after he jumps down, and specifically it's him, and I don't want anything to happen to him, yep. I'm adding my two instead of subtracting. I love them. it. All right. Oh, that was no hits. I there. keep losing. Now how do I only have nine dice? I keep... Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus, they keep going. There's away. two on the other. There we go. These are my other. Oh, okay, I got you. But uh, all right, so yeah. All right, cool. So six, so thirteen. Two, two, three. Okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Rio. Mm -hmm. I I'm going to use one okay. edge. Yeah. Uh, so that brings me down to, let me just write oh, mark yeah, this I down. Totally forgot. Oh, yeah. Edge. Yes, yes, edge. Edge. Five. edge. I'm going to change one of my fours to a five. With I'm going to, nice. wait, hold on. I'm going to do a so post edge reroll. So that would be a total of five. Five? Okay. Two. Uh, I, two, am going to post edge and reroll everything that is not Five or six. So one, two, four, five. Six. That's right. I think I'm going to do the same thing, actually. Yeah. Because an <laughs> eight is so much better. Oh, we're learning how to play this game now. I remember that. We're learning how to play this game now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. 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 Bam. How many is that? Five. Five. Uh, who wants to go first, Rio or uh, Trigger? <laughs> I'm going to guess Rio. Well, yeah, I'm down there. Okay. So, He's already yeah. spent. Okay, so Trig is also five. I have five hits, but uh, I, I have combat paralysis, so I act last in the first round of combat. Okay, so, oh, man. I so you're still a five. And I see all of these like kind of white, pale figures that are ghoulish looking, and immediately I flash back to this image of a bunch of bodies in these tubes yeah. floating in water, yeah. and they look white and they look pale, and then I snap back 
and time has passed mm. while I flashed. Love it. And I'm acting last. Love it. Mm. Love it. Liv? Eight. Yes. Ooh. Much better than the two that I initially rolled. <laughs> okay, and? Eight. Oh. Wow, <laughs> Who's going to go first? I... <laughs> Who's going to go first? Uh, go for it. Uh, I'll say Liv Blaise. goes first, actually, because oh. Liv is technically just a faster character overall than I am. Sure. Uh, okay. So okay, hang on one sec. Let me just get these all in here. I know you fit in here before. Those cat-like <laughs> reflexes That's are coming in said. handy right now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> get in there. All right. <laughs> all right. I love my life right I'm now. She, that is what she said. Okay. I'm a child. How's this real life? All right. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't <laughs> form myself. Okay, Liv, really you're up. Come right in. I thought you were going to uh, do What am I against? Is this against the, the people that are coming out? There are 12 or so a dozen folks who are coming out of their, you, they may be more, uh, they're starting to kind of come out and muster to see what that splash and that noise was. But nothing has... Nothing aggressive yet. But nothing yet. aggressive yet. They're just coming out. Okay. Um, you should not say anything. You notice that he is starting to dash towards that area and you see Torin turned around and he started running up the, up the ramp and is almost out of sight. I am following Torin. Okay, so you were gonna try. You're gonna attempt to close the distance with him. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can climb down that. Are you, I'm assuming you're gonna jump down that ten feet. I'm gonna say you do that fairly easily. Yeah. Um, that is your one movement. You can now use movement instead of a action to move further or take an action. Now I'm gonna try to close the distance on him. Okay. So you can use another action, um, and you make it to the bottom of the the ramp. Okay. And he's at the top and you watch him round the corner. And you see that there's like a red glow kind of coming out from some sort of landing at the top of that ramp. But he turns the, so he goes up, there's red glow, and then he turns the corner. Interesting. As if there's another ramp going up the other way. Got it, okay. Okay, uh, that is your turn. Rio, uh, Blaze, you're up. Hmm, so how far is, like? Uh, so we're at the very top, right? And there's a big jump down. How yeah. far is that? 10 feet. 10 feet. Hmm. It's a jump. It is a jump. So and for Rio and because she they're super agile, I didn't have them roll, but And Torin is around the corner at this point. He's, yeah, so he's, he's gone, gone up and around the corner. Okay. So I guess I will jump on down. Okay. Uh, or no, excuse me. I will climb on down. I don't yeah. think I'm. Yeah. Uh, so you you kind of yeah. you kind of clamber over. You kind of do a hang jump, so you're not too far. far About six uh, feet. Yeah. But exactly. So you kind of splash into the water. I'd say that's your movement. You have an action still. Yeah, I got it. Um, so they don't look hostile at all, right? Not that you can tell. They're just coming out wondering what's going on because there's a commotion. And Liv is in front of me. Liv is all the way at the at the bottom of the ramp already. And how far away is she from me? Uh, I'd say, well, she's a, a near movement. A near uh, movement? So that would be like, I'd say about 50 to 100 feet because we, we had talked about Torin being at 100. She's about 50 feet. Down was Lyra and said, Liv, just go. And I'm going to cast invisibility on her yes. from yes. near distance. Okay. Oh my God. All right. I, Do you have, have to roll that, for that in this game? Uh, doesn't say so. It's, like, it, it, it's a power. It's a power. It's a spell, so you have to. You have to yeah. uh, sorcery. I thought they had hats. It's a sorcery. Yeah. yeah. So one, two, so three, four, five, six. You have to what? Uh, effect is mass invisibility and targeted group. In this case, it'll be an individual. Yeah. May reroll two failed stealth dice. Okay. Cool. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm just looking for hits at this point. See how powerful it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five oh. hits on the stealth okay. or on the invisibility. So, and so that adds language. hits to her. Yeah. It just says, it just says affect mass invisibility. Okay. And I was yeah. like, oh. So that works. Oh, you won. <laughs> and then can I spend a plot point for shake it up and yes. yeah. try to really close you absolutely in on him? can. All right. Uh, oh, I'm going yeah. to spend a plot point then. And I would like to catch up to, uh, to Torin. Okay. So, because you, you're moving out of turn at this point. Yeah. Okay. So you go and yeah, you don't even know what's going on. You go and visit. Ah! You look back and you watch. You see it's kind of pointing in your direction. Yeah. As you kind Literally of a little heat yeah. wave is coming yeah. out and it's shimmered around her. You hit the top of that ramp and you kind of like skid to a halt for a moment. As this red glow is created by sort of red lamps in this room, and there is it's almost like a lounge with like beaten down like couches and stuff. And there are a number of ghouls kind of like sleeping and like haphazardly passed out. And there is an individual sitting in an armchair 
at the back of that room, um, looking out the direction of the ramp, but not moving yet. This individual looks like a like a clean cut um, male with pale, pale skin and like slick black hair oh. with tattoos kind of all up his arms as he kind of sits looking in your direction, but doesn't see you. Torin turns the corner uh, like he's come out of, a, of sleep and he's just kind of like wondering what's going on. So you turn the corner and you see Torin is at the top of the next ramp and you're able to close the distance. Okay. But that's uh, that's your action because you don't have an action. Right. You use the extra thing so to do she, that. Okay. So she passed that room. Basically. Yeah. So you, if you if you want to turn the corner and pass that room and keep going, that's so it's towards to Torin. Tor towards Torin. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So you've done that. So you've caught up to him at the top of so that. So they're still before the guy in the chair then. But can I yeah, can I that. message like warn like the guy in the chair or like how can she warn us about yeah um i would say verbally you could you d i don't know if you um yeah i'll allow it i'll allow it you being a technomancer okay that can text with your brain yeah um especially with would, the yeah. chameleon suit yeah and the sure invisibility that's absolutely great. good okay uh that's blaze and live and live again uh rio trigger on deck so we all just got that information. Yeah. So yeah. you just got that information and you said you wanted to, you started in that direction towards him. Right. Uh, and all of this kind of happened in the in the midst, but I can, I'll say that you can still catch up. It all kind of happens at the same well, time. Well, did I see her go invisible? I mean, did I see? Yeah. I so I would her, say if, if, you, if, you, if you, unless you changed your mind, I would put you at the bottom of the ramp. Right. Uh, as, as she goes invisible. We got to yeah. go with it. We okay. So get. that was your movement goes invisible, you see her go invisible, and then she disappears. You hear footsteps up the thing, you have no idea what's going on. So, uh, over the comms, I'm going to say out loud, be cool, dip, be cool. And I'm gonna All right. limp up that ramp in the right. direction that I think she went. Okay, all right. So as you head, so you start to head up that ramp um, and you stop again at the top and you see yeah. this individual who is sitting currently in the chair looking in your direction. Yeah. And he kind of like tilts his head towards you as you hit the top of that ramp. Right, right. And I'm going to do the same thing. He tilts his head, I'm going to tilt my head. Okay. Puff on my cigar. We cool? <gasps> no. Okay. That was your question. We are going to stop there. Trigger up. All right. So, uh, just in terms of my knowledge, about HMHVV, about what ghouls and vampires are capable, like when they go feral, what is that? They just attack? Do they you, turn All you you've into heard something? is horror stories. Like most of it is like nighttime stories. If you're okay. not careful, the ghouls are gonna come get you. Do I know anything about sensitivity to light? Do I know anything? They're just all not makeup, with the it's all make got. believe. Yeah, you've okay. heard legends that are akin to what we know about vampires in our world, but that's pretty much as far as it goes. Right. Um, Stakes through the hard, sleeping coffins, like all that. Right. Kind of stuff. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so worried about him that I'm just gonna follow. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just hot on his tail. That he yeah. went running and I went running. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say that with that, you're able to match his movement at the bottom of the. Do you want to keep going? Um. Oh God, I'm afraid of that thing, and I want to keep. I think keep if going. I hear her yeah. behind me, I'll say stop. Okay, oh, crap. so you stop at the bottom of the ramp if you want. Or are you going to keep going? You hear him yell, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning into a ghoul myself. Um, I'm just going to say under my breath, nope, and I'm going to keep going. <laughs> okay. So all of a sudden yes. you feel her presence behind you as you stop and you see this individual in the chair. Frank, you're up. I'm, yeah, but I, but, I, but I pass him. I've gone last, so this is me now, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm going last. Um, yeah. I snap back to it. I see that everyone's taken off. The drone is uh, right behind them, speeding down. Uh, the movement for my drone, is, is it faster than being on foot? Yeah, if it, yeah. I mean, movement for vehicles is kind of the same. It just takes less movements to get places. To get to, So you can yeah. close that distance in yeah. one single movement rather than taking the action. So you, you would get an action at the end of that movement. Before he does that, can I wreck on something? Sure. When he says stop, yeah. I'm going to stop, but just past him on the other side of the doorway. 
So I'll stop because he, because we, if I'm not, if I'm getting this right, we've gone, th this is the ramp and there's like an open doorway and inside are the- No, so, so the, 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 the bottom of the cavern is like this. Uh -huh. Then there's a ramp that goes up to a landing uh -huh. and that's where that guy is. Uh -huh. And then there's another ramp that goes up where Torin is. Right. So he's at the top of the ramp. So, so you so came I feel here. Like I, yeah, I feel like I just kind of passed him as he said, stop. Yeah. So I turn back and okay. halt. Got it. But okay. I didn't stop before I got just past him up the so other So you're, you're behind him, but at the top. I'm behind the past. Yeah. Like, like, so there's, so, so I'm, 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 Got this it. is the landing and this is the second ramp yeah. up. I'm here. In front of him. Yeah. In, in the it, center, Further yeah. in the room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Further in the okay. room towards that second ramp. Got it. Yeah. I'm flying in. Um, yeah. I am, uh, does the, does this person on the couch even acknowledge my drone? Uh, he's just looking at your direction. In my in, direction. Yeah, in your direction. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm in I'm a drone. I'm gonna I'm flying past you guys. I'm going back up <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, to where. So uh, you turn the corner. And you start corner. You've already done that. So do you want to take your action to do another double movement up towards Torrent? Yep. I'm okay. trying to catch so up and on, get past him. Yeah. So basically, you catch side. up to him at this point, but you can't do anything else at that Great. point. Uh, sorry, I moved, but I didn't have an action. Um, uh, you you would have used your other action to, to move to, up to the rest right, of the ramp. Right, right, right. Yeah, you you but moved it, in uh, uh, your movement to get to the bottom of the ramp, and then you would have it. had to have used an action to get to the top. Got it. Unless you want to recon that, if that wasn't clear, mm -hmm. then you'll be further back. Oh, it's okay. You're good. At this point, situation. that it's fun. That individual is in the chair. He kind of like you see him grip the chair a little bit, and he stands Stand. slowly, kind of staring at all of you, and he says. Family to me, oh, and that no. is where we're going to take a break. Oh, yeah, no. he, did we'll he did the chat. He did the chat. No, but they're, they're, they're it's a family to me. Yeah, yeah, but he did the chat. He could have just said kill them. All right. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you again for tuning in to the Realm Smith Shadow Run excommunication stream. Uh, I'm Rem from Catalyst Game Labs, and this time I'm here to talk about the next journey in your Shadow Run mission here. We talked about Shadowrun Anarchy a little bit. Well, now I'm here to talk about Shadowrun Sixth World Beginner Box. So if you want to just dip your toe into the crunch of Shadowrun, this has a quick start rules for Sixth Edition. It comes with dice, it comes with edge tokens, it comes with character dossiers, so you don't even have to create your own characters for your first game. And it comes with some uh, weapon cards and NPC cards all to make your run a little easier. So check out the Sixth World Beginner Box on the Catalyst store at store.catalystgamelabs.com. And we'll be right back with the next episode of Realmsmith Shadowrun Excommunication. Welcome back. Uh, we are back from the break just before we left. Um, you are all rushing up the ramp realizing that Blaze, um, our not as agile member, is still at the bottom of the oh grate, God. just coming off at the thing. You all kind of are, are rushing up the ramp as the individual, uh, pale skinned individual with the slick back hair kind of stands up at the chair and yells, family to me. Oh no. Um, and it is his turn. Yeah. At oh, this oh, point, to go. Uh, as soon as you hear that yell, you see four of the individuals who are kind of around and you notice that there's some children there there's some teenagers there's some older elder the seemingly, seemingly older elderly people within this ghoul community wow. four of kind of the more sort of taller heftier um stronger individuals kind of turn in the direction of the ramp and start running up the ramp yeah, yeah. in that Terrifying. direction uh -uh. Yeah. Um, yeah. as they're doing what later. they were yeah. told uh, they're going to take a double movement. So they're going to move from the center to the bottom of the ramp. And then from the bottom of the ramp, make it up to the top of the ramp. They don't get an action because that is a double movement. But they're on your backs currently. Wow. This individual um, turns into... Uh, you watch as he kind of like turns into mist. Oh, no. That is kind of like low hanging along the ground. Oh. And then goes his movement action it goes up and around your feet past you and apparates in front of Torin. Oh, oh. behind but like behind Torin, and Torin like basically like runs into him kind of thing as he's kind of like and he reaches out at you mm -hmm. i'm invisible no you're not <gasps> you are but he reaches out in your direction 
to try and grab you. Uh, uh, I want to immediately take a free attack action against the NPC by spending a plot point, a dish better served cold. Okay. Yes. All right. And I'm going to shoot him point blank in the face. Okay. I like it. Um, <laughs> what do I roll for? Oh, firearms. Okay. Firearms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. One, two, three. Uh, can I also spend an inch? To... Uh, I'm gonna say because you're point blank, you get a plus two to that. Plus two. Okay. Because you're literally like putting your gun oh, to his that head. That did not help me. Um. I still, I think I still want to spend an edge to reroll. Pre edge yeah. reroll. Um, or post post edge. Post, post edge reroll. All but those that are not fives and sixes. Probably worth it. Yeah. yeah. Them right in front it. of you. Yes. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Wow. Seven. No. Oh, what are you rolling those nice. dice for, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I looked you in the eyes when I did that. That was not rude. Uh, <laughs> that feels mean. Four. Felt like so you stuff. succeed. Okay. He does not dodge the point blank in your in, in his forehead shot. Yeah. How much damage does he take from that shot? Six. Six. Does it pierce? Uh, six P. Six P. Okay. As you do that, it kind of like the the force of it as your pistol racks in his face. You watch as like part of his flesh opens up. And uh, you watch like shards of skull kind of off. There is no blood though when this happens. It's all just like flayed skin that occurs. And then he looks back at you. And because you're taking a turn just before his turn, instead of his action, he was going to do this. You watch as it starts to oh hell begin no. to grow back slightly. Hell this is, no. This is a problem. That's not fun. This is a problem. Uh, um, I trust you. Okay. You're before me. All right. Uh, that is his turn. The ghouls have taken their turn. The four of them came up the ramp. At that time, it is now. That was sorry. Uh, ghoul, da, 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 da. Liv, you are up again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to GTFO. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, like, just, oh, I just shot him point blank in the face, drink. watched it all melt together, and I'm like, yep. nope. <laughs> okay, so you turn around, you peace out. Yep. All right. So you start down again the, the ramp. You get to the Holy bottom crap. of the ramp where these two are, and you're kind of all clustered right at that platform. And you take I an action just, or you just keep going? Oh, yeah. yeah I, no, I'm going to stop. Like, I just shot this bitch point blank in the face and then just watch <laughs> everything just go <laughs> back together. Retreat. <laughs> And I then you keep running. Just for the sake of the folks at home, I need you to make that face. The funny time. thing is, yeah, just for that. the just funny so thing is, that. is, all you hear is her voice because she is currently still invisible. invisible. That's oh, I am? Yeah, you still currently yeah. are invisible. Okay. Just well, not like, to him. Oh. Um, also, he saw me. And hi, I'm also, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you continue down? <laughs> what? Or are you are you literally G two F O ing or are you? I'm sticking by. I'm sticking with. Okay, so you're yeah. gonna stick with. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you still have an action. Presentation. Uh, describe to me what I'm coming back to because I'm I'm you just baffled me with all of that. Yeah. So, so you turned. You came down the ramp. You met the the two of them and the drone, and there are ghouls at their backs, like basically on top of them. That's that them, haven't attacked that's yet. Yeah, okay. Uh, I still have my gun out. Do they look like they're about to attack? Um, they don't look happy. And as they, they're coming up, they open it up and they've got these jagged, nasty teeth that fill their mouths as they are running up that Oh, uh-uh, I'm gonna shoot at one of them. Okay. I, no. Um, I'll, I'll just shoot at one. If I'm invisible, can they see me? It appear, uh, you don't know, they're kind of looking into the room. So you're not sure if they can see you or not. All right, well, let's, we're about to find out. Um, How many plot points? How one, many plot points do we start? Seven, eight, nine. One, two, but uh, is it half? Okay, so if I rolled nine, and four of them are ones. Oh. 
But that's less than no, that's less than that's less than still less than okay. If you had rolled five, it would have been a, okay. A okay, all right, all right, all right. I didn't know I didn't know where the okay, yeah. got it. Okay, so how many, sorry? So uh, two. So only two? Two successes. Against a ghoul. I'm gonna try something crazy, but I don't it know hits. I don't know these things, so I'm gonna try okay. Again, but... Uh, so that's six points of uh physical damage six two. yep i got five of each kind of these yeah so okay as cool you take basically a chunk of the shoulder out of one of them uh, again same thing no blood but just like ichor and flesh flying off is their it shoulder. coming back together though or is it just... not that you can see right now okay you do though all of you notice torin continues his movement up the ramp Torin's and he turns a corner and then you hear what he locked himself in okay yeah this is gonna work all right um that is your turn uh blaze your next then rio's on deck so right now your turn's now so what do i so i'm still at the crate you're still at the crate. what do i actually see everyone's left the party what you do see is a bunch of family of families of ghouls all different ages all different sizes you said children really. yeah there are yeah. children there and they all kind of like are looking around scared some of them have ran back run back into their enclosures some of them are like hiding behind and peeking out and looking at you and then looking up top they're hearing gunfire you hear like screams which sound like squeals it's yeah so the four that left, they're already around the corner and gone. Yeah. Well, they're up at the top. You can see them at the top of the ramp before it turns around. They're right behind them at the top of the they're ramp. They're with us. The first ramp. So how far away am I for them? Uh, 50 feet. Feet? Uh, 100 feet. Sorry, because it's 50 to the bottom, 50 to the top. And I know everyone's around that corner now, you right? Hear, yeah. You know hear over the comm. Be cool. Doesn't sound like uh, that's the... Advice everybody's taking. I don't feel cool at this moment. I don't <laughs> feel like we've been cool. We're going to try to make it cool. This is a battle week. Well, I'm better game. It's all right. I love it. I'm probably, I'm actually probably still, yeah, I'm probably going to just dash right through the village to try and catch up. Okay. So you dash the 50 and then you're going to use an action to get back to the top. The 50 puts me next to him, doesn't it? The 50 puts you at the bottom of the, the, the ramp. And mm -hmm. then another one, you can get up to the top of the ramp behind the ghouls. That are up there. There's four ghouls up there, which is what that we... are engaging them. Yeah. Um. Then, so the fifty, the extra action will get me close to them, but not on top of them. It, it, right next to them, like within close range, to attack if you wanted to, or you can stay at the bottom and take an action. Uh, I will go ahead and double dash up there because technically, I, sure. I don't. I, as far as I can tell, I'm not seeing hostility. So, yeah. and of course run into a village of children. Sure. I'll probably take that into consideration as I'm yeah, running sure. by them. Yeah, you know, it's a the round, in the yeah. back yeah. So you run around, <laughs> you make it to the bottom of the ramp, <laughs> <laughs> you make it to the top of the ramp. There's <laughs> lots of hostility. <laughs> From nothing in particular. <laughs> so much hostility. There's a lot of strangeness happening right now. Did you, did you actually say that? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I, there, was, oh. there would be no way for me to actually. Uh, and like... I, would, I would say you get up to the top, Although I was as, screaming when I came back As you back get down. there, there is a, an explosion of a gunshot from Liv as she shoots one of the shoulders off of one of these things. And like all this like ichor and flesh kind of hits you in the face. Uh, you may get a little bit in your mouth. Um, Ew. Ew. As you're kind of like That's uh, running up. The, hey, you know, it's Shadowrun. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry, it's a little aggressive. Uh, all right. Uh, you're done. Yes. Rio, you're up. Double you're on deck. <laughs> Do we have a moment to like communicate back and forth? You guys can openly talk to each okay. other. Okay. All right. Well, ain't no talking anymore. I'm going to pull out a grenade. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pull the trigger. Yes. I'm going to hold it up. Enough. You care about your family. I care about mine. We want Skelly. You bring him up or I blow this fucking sky high. It's weak to blow. I'm not fucking playing. And I'm going to go, I'm going to slide back and I'm going to grab one of the children. Oh, I'm gonna pull them in front. Well, so there isn't children in that room, but you can grab one of the other kind of 
female looking well i'm holding that the room. grenade so yeah, i'm yeah. gonna turn around yeah. they have one option they're gonna yeah. back the fuck up yeah. or they're gonna blow and okay. you didn't pull the pin right no i did pull the pin <laughs> i pulled the pin i'm holding on the grenade right it. now yes oh, yeah, yeah. Open seconds? Oh, okay oh, oh my god okay. Well, no, 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 the, he has to let it go oh okay i thought it was like a like i thought it was like the cartoons where you literally had a few seconds and so i don't have a problem i don't want to hurt your family we want skelly you give him to us and we leave. You don't? We all die here. From the t okay, give me an intimidation. Uh, do you have that skill? Oh, did you just throw it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, what is? I don't have an intimidation skill, no. Okay, so what you're gonna do is charisma, double. Double. Eight. Double. Ooh, um, can I help in any way? Uh, you can look tough behind him and also do an intimidation or double charisma. Hmm. Bussy. Thank you. Um, Thank you. This is. I'll, I can see maybe this can help him. I, I'm gonna the drone. I'm is gonna going to cover up. So yeah. can multiple of us can help and, and uh, to the dice yes. pool. Uh, the drone is just gonna be going back and forth with the gun, like aiming down at all. Yeah, time. yeah, like 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 yeah. take, picking targets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, gonna add all of my edge score as well, my five edge as well. Ooh. Oh well, I, pre, wow. I'm gonna pre edge. So yeah. six is explode. Let's see. If this oh. Works. One, two, three. I don't know which one. But no, I don't want those. I'm just gonna reroll. One, so I know which one. two. Using edge before uh, the break really go unleash Pandora's box. Charisma Four. doubled for me as well for the yeah. for the test. Two charismas, yeah. Five, six. Nice. Okay, and you've got. Paciencia you and faith. Mm -hmm. You're pulling a lot of dice out of there. Yes. You can reroll three of them. And three more. Can we roll six of them? Because that's what we're adding. Mm. All right. But oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I do anything to... Okay, how many is that? Four. <laughs> no, no. He looks at you from the top, cool as a cucumber, and he kind of tilts his head to the side, and he says, "Your food. You'd be doing us a favor to cook you first. We'll survive that blast. Will you? Let's find out." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So you toss it up the up the ramp, Adam. Um, it lands. And it goes off. Um, give me though a uh, weapons check, a ranged weapon. You have Project, a range projected yeah. weapon. Yeah, project all of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that. And that is agility. Uh, so it's just a where it's everyone practices. Yeah, but it's an agility skill, so ten. So that's yeah, yeah, ten yes, plus yes. So my plus three. Okay. Yeah. And we have uh, damage on your sheet for grenades. Do we? Because you had a grenade launcher. We all three have grenades. You have a grenade have launcher a grenade for your grenade rated. Launcher? Yeah, I have it. Oh, wow. It does I got grenades. 12p. Damn. Yep. Come on, baby. 12p? Yeah. Wow. Okay, 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 all right, okay. I'm very happy with this roll. You've done well. <laughs> Bless that with you. How far do those things hit again? Holy shit. Seven. Seven? All right. Okay, you've thrown it up the ramp. Uh, top of the ramp. Uh, those at the bottom of the ramp. Um, I would like you all to make... If you have a skill that you think will help you evade this grenade, do so. Uh, or just an agility plus agility. Oh, I'm covering her. I throw and I'm going to cover yeah. her. So you basically do that and you turn around and you cover her. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not on the ground. I'm in the air. Give me a plus two with that agility then because he's covering you. I'm in the air above the group. <laughs> you're fine. Oh, I am? Okay. Yeah. What am I doing? You're doing a, either you're using some sort of evasion skill that you might have or just a, agility plus agility. I have escape <laughs> artist, but agility plus agility would be a higher role for me. Just then do that. Edge. All right, exploded them. You are still behind the other goals. You're not gonna get hit because you're around the corner. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take. Oh, so I'm still around the corner. Yeah. 
I thought he Dude. threw it up um, and it was like blowing up near me. No, oh, he, no. he threw it this way, uh -huh. and then the shrapnel is going to come back down the ramp. Got it back down. Yeah. Okay. So three. Just for uh, and point you of two, order, we, we do that roll too. Yes. Yeah. Point of order. I threw it. Yeah. That cloak comes over, and I'm protecting her. Yeah. Um, I rolled three successes. Three. Yeah. Okay. I rolled four. Four successes. Three. Three. Um, you two that took three, you take two stun damage as the shrapnel doesn't reach you, but the concussive force does. Yep. Does stun still go to armor? Is that? Does stun still go to armor no, first? No, goes right to your head. Right to your head? Yeah. So that's, oh. sorry, what did I just say? Two for you? Yeah. Because you rolled three, you rolled a four? Mm -hmm. So you get one point of stun damage for being in the concussive area. Of the grenade, because you I mean you tossed the grenade fairly. The... It was like twenty feet up in the air. Still a blowback. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just fill in a stun. Oh. Okay. Smoke uh, fills the top of that uh, of that uh, ramp, basically on the platform he's standing on. Um, actually, he's supposed to do. Luis, right. can I use your pencil? Yes. Now wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that this would make a difference. How many successes did I have in my grenade? Three. Three. I add two more. I add one to an attack and provide improve reflexes and uh, attribute boost. Add one dice or one damage while tomorrow. using it. Okay. Which one? Pick it. Just any two. Pick them. Pick them. Pick them. This pretty one and this pretty one. Let's go. Damn, those are pretty. Paciencia y fe. That's an extra hit. Okay, so it's. Is it yeah, a six? Four. four? Yeah, it's, it's a six, six and it explodes. It explodes. Roll it again. Nothing. Okay. So you don't take any damage. Okay. Um, you take one and you take two. Um, the smoke smoke covers the top of the ramp, partially obscuring what just happened. You don't know. There's no noise up there. You don't know what happened. There's just smoke currently from that explosion. Trig, you're up. Frayne, you're on deck. Oh, God. I have no idea what to do. Because I have cyber eyes and it says ignore vision modifiers, can I see what's happening? Yes, you can. Ooh. There are pieces of this individual all over the top of that ramp. So they are exploded. Yeah, he, he it, yeah, it, it worked. Blew him to shreds, yeah. I am going to, despite all better judgment, run up there and like a crazy person, grab pieces and throw them in different directions of its body. So, cause she said he pieced itself together and it freaked me out so much that I don't know what else yeah. to do. So yeah. I just start grabbing pieces yeah. and it's throwing like, it's them like, everywhere. It's like else. sorting through chunky salsa. It's right. just oh, like oh, grabbing wow. pieces okay, so and I'm like just gonna, I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna like, reference. like Sorry. shut off. Oh, nice. Like I just Is want, it? like I'm shoving it off the right. side of the ramp, whatever I can, yeah. whatever I can, do yeah to, 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 to separate it to separate yeah. it because i don't trust it sure can you give me a willpower check i can give you a willpower check oh no i oh, keep no. dropping all my dice junior child is going to be playing the role of the cat today i'm going to roll a six over here more butter <laughs> oh no <laughs> um <laughs> Does that you count? Did. Does that count? Does that count? Because she rolled it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spend an. Uh, well, what am I? What am I rolling? What willpower. Check. Willpower. Willpower. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna spend an edge to roll all dice that are not five and sixes. Mm, that just says four. And they are still. Not fives Oof. or sixes. Um, so uh, that is. To well, you know, can I do it again? I'm going to roll another edge just to be safe because I don't burn like edge any. Burn once in a turn. Uh, so you you burn it until it's gone. So oh, wow. you only have six edge, right? Yeah. yeah and then it's gone, and then I you replenish. Three. Wow. Hoping we're going to get a long rest at some point or another. Okay, there we go. Uh, three. Okay, so three is enough to stop from retching. As oh. you grab this, and it feels like the, the I most, also have toxic the most discus, disconcerting thing about this is there's no blood, and so it's just like cold chunks of meat. Makes it easier to like, throw away. Exactly. So you're just kind of tossing it along. Okay, so that's your right. turn. Spend and literally your everything that is driving me is like now I'm just in full, not 
I don't want to be like, do what he says, like a cult leader, but yeah. I'm in full protect in sure. the only way that I know how. And yeah. I am, that's frantic. all I know. Yeah. And so you, you watch as frantic movement is happening and there's like smoke swirling up there as you've run up there. And you're not quite sure, except that a couple of body parts like fall down and start rolling down the ramp. Uh, as you're kind of tossing them aside. Can I, can I be, be, be I, screaming? Like, absolutely, can I be, can I be yelling? Yeah, um, 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 she's just like crazily being, fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. Just go away, go away. Like she's just kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, yeah, she snapped. Yeah. Uh, Frayn, you're up. Uh, oh, so we, I can go up to where they were then. That, yeah. That blast yeah. open. Yeah, it's about 20 um, feet. I'm, uh, I'm moving up there. I, I want to see what's happened to 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 the um, guy that we're after. Yeah. So you turn the corner Skelly. and you notice that there is like a safe room door and it has it's like a safe door and it's got massive bolts that have engaged uh, and there is a big blast mark on it that hasn't affected didn't do that. anything to it. No, uh, I could hack it. We need we need. Yep. It's like a blast it's door. Like, we need the, one of the techies to come up here and, and, and hack their way through this door. Cause that's where he went. Uh, and uh, my gun is just gonna be trained on the ghouls. Yeah, so down, you you kind of come down, back yeah, down. Go you up, take the, a yeah, look, back yeah. down, guns on them. I'm yeah. not shooting them. Okay. All just right. threatening them. Okay. Did you say that out loud? Yes, I did. Okay. Can I spend a plot point to take another action to go hack that door? Yeah, you sure can. That's what I shall do when I hear it, when I, he snaps me out of my... Do I've, your thing, I've, I've, completed, I've completed my thing. Okay. Yeah. I've done the thing. I did the thing. I did the thing. I'm going to go do the other thing um, and throw more dice around. Fuck that die. <laughs> I got it. Fuck that die. I'm going to have one die. <laughs> <laughs> one just one, one, one die ground. by the end of this. Okay, so hacking. I need I need 12 and I now have like 10. One, do two, three, your thing, four, 21. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. <laughs> okay. I really should bring a. You can join this. Okay. That's okay. looking good. That's not bad. <laughs> okay. Three so far. No, we'll put the, leave those in there. Leave those in there? Yeah. Because How that quickly helps me. we all they became a family of our own. What a beautiful game. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also hacking hold for talent. Hold for talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's all I get. So one, two, walking. three, four. Okay. Pack of the four. Four. Oh no. You're having a hard time collecting your thoughts. And as you start to kind of start to hack it, you're having a hard time breaking through the and firewall my... that is on the software. That oh, wait, 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 wait. May we roll two dice on non-cyber combat hacking tests? There yes. You, go. you got an app. I have an app for that. <laughs> it's in the app store. <laughs> that didn't help. Okay. Unfortunately, you get a moment of like, oh, clarity. And then you're like, oh, still, you're just not able, unfortunately, to get through the lock in this door. You do yeah. hear muffled voices from behind the door. And you hear something like, they got grenades. They got grenades. Oh, my goodness. They're coming in. Please, please. Mm. Oh, I forgot that's what his accent was. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um, Liv, I need you up here. Okay. Where has she that been? Is... She's been absent the whole fucking time. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, the ghouls, the explosion happens. They see the body parts. They lose their minds and they turn and scream and run back down the ramp. Yeah, they are sense. bugging out. They're mostly non-combatants that were controlled. They don't know what they do now that they're... Uh, also, father is gone. I just for the record, I love that this guy was like, I'll survive this blast. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, Will you, though? Well, he, might, he might still did, be did alive. Not, did indeed just... not survive the blast. Yeah. yeah he true. might have survived. He might have survived. Yeah. yeah. He might have. It's entirely possible. He's going yeah. pieces. It might, ta it might him take him a, him a minute. I threw him in a lot of different directions. Yeah. All right. Uh, Liv, back up to the top of the order, Blaze. You're on deck. I'm running back up to uh, where I heard Fuckface's voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So you run back up. You see that uh, Trigger is trying to hack the lock on the door. As a technomancer, can I be the lock and just be like, you are now unlocked? Oh, very uh, very you can be try. Uh, okay. So it's going to be a uh, hacking skill plus... Is it a tasking skill? Yeah, so tasking. Okay. 
which would be in parentheses. I don't know. Are you tasking me? A 10 element. <laughs> that was bad. Sorry. I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Are you tasking me You're tasking me. You tasking you seriously tasking me? <laughs> Four successes. Four? Ooh. Yes. Can Ooh. I help? I guess it's not my turn, so I guess I can't. I guess I could spend an edge to re-roll these. Oh, hell no. I'm no. I don't like that. I'm going to... Oof. Seven successes. Yeah, she yeah I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna reroll these. She said it before you rolled. Yeah, she said I'm gonna spend an edge. I did. Yep. While you were Is that the camera show? Yes. You rolled it. Oh, now I got a six. Yeah. You, you can spend You're your having edge a hard time getting through this door. This is like meant to keep people out. Yeah, it is a safe room. <sighs> the the yeah, software yeah. on this door is legit. Can strong. Glorp help? It's strong with this door. What's that? Uh, Glorp. Can Glorp help? Uh, if you go into the Matrix, maybe. But Do you don't necessarily know how. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Waking his ass up at this hour. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Are you all kind of heading up to this door now? Yeah. We're out of initiative. They've gone back down. You guys can all congregate at the top of this landing. We I can kind of sidestep. Right. Can, can I try to hack again? Yeah, can we teamwork this I just want to point out that I've rounded this corner, I assume, at this point. If it's no initiative. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just sitting there going to the... What the hell, God? You said be cool. I was cool until I wasn't cool. <laughs> what happened to okay. that guy? That's right. You're the one that said be cool and then tossed the green. <laughs> I thought it was like a. I feel like I too am getting mixed signals here. To be fair, yeah, it be was cool meant ice the guy. Yeah, well, no, he deserved it yeah. because I shot him point blank in the freaking forehead, and then he like exploded, and then immediately solidified back together and he could see me even though I'm supposed to be oh I'm like now not invisible by the way yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I got it wait can he put I, himself back to, together can yes. I attempt to hack again yeah so just remember that you tried to hack so that's a god another god score so however many successes that were you have to add to your god score no, you are no. also adding to your god score with that hack attempt for okay. however many successes Where it was, even though do I add how that? many hits it was. I even just write it on a separate note sheet of paper. Just, uh, so what is my gods? So how many uh, uh, successes did you get on that hacking attempt? Five. 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 So that would be five. Your god score is five. So this is a contested roll. Is, is that it? was a contested roll, but this has just brought your god score up because every time you and put no, up I'm a asking roll. if I do this now, it's yes. still a contested yeah, roll. Against the firewall. Yeah. Man. I would like to... You said there were scorch marks on the door, right? From the grenade. Oh. Your rule six is Listen, no, Blaze, I didn't mean to posted. frazzle you. I just, I tried it as a bargaining chip. It didn't work. The guy didn't blink. Usually one of us blinks. I blinked first. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Can I access the matrix? Right now I'm in the drone. Yeah. Can I go into the matrix to help? In full VR? Yeah. You absolutely can't. You would, you would have to get out of the drone. And then it would be harder for me to jump back into the drone because I'm far away. Yeah, at this point, you're you're experiencing some serious noise. Yeah, you're so down through concrete. I'm going to stay there. Oh. I'm, I'm staying yeah. where I am. It, it, yeah, because I can access the matrix to help you. But... Um, at this point, while they're attempting to hack, the sensors on your car go off that there is movement okay. nearby uh oh uh i will have you hear that uh oh i'm not alone everybody um uh um i am also going to spend one more itch you will you <laughs> panic in my voice i'm not alone um make sure i get this back Ooh, my drum drops i'm back and my knee <gasps> i grabbed okay. the drone Okay. I'm going to look up. Uh, we Actually, the drone through... takes uh, one physical damage from the drop. Uh, yeah, I mean, I yeah. panicked. Yeah, you just don't mark that down. <laughs> Got it. Uh, That's more like it. We drop down through a grate. Yeah. I am. I grab that drone, and I'm looking up for any other grates or exits. There me. aren't in this space. W what about uh, in that bigger room? In the bigger room, there aren't either. Okay. Uh, they basically right. go into the tunnels, and then they funnel into this big area that is some sort of... Where does that water go? It's that going water. down the hallway, down to another tunnel. So, so it comes we have down to go back and then across, the way we, and the way we came. Tunnel. I think we go down through. I think we should go. We should go into the water. Wherever that water goes, we yeah, should go gotta, through it, the water. It, go into out, the, it goes out somewhere. Yes, okay. Flow out. Um, than I just rolled a nine. Nine successes. Nine hits. Okay, you managed to finally break through, and you hear the locks 
disengage. And you hear many Russian expletives from the other side. <laughs> right. Um, uh, guys, it's open. Uh, guys. I'm going to limp up. And kick it down. <laughs> well, so you said it's like it's a safe door. Yeah, it's like a big. It's a, now all the. So it's just a matter of pulling. Pulling it open. Put it, pulling it open. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna like look at you. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Get behind me. But I've got open get it. Get behind I'll get me. Okay. I don't want you to get hurt. Then I'm gonna have my my guns out. I'm gonna have my gun out. This not Hampton. Yeah. And I'll open it. Okay, you start to open it. You, you hear, hey guys, it's okay. We're friends. Please, please, don't, don't shoot. I don't want any trouble. We're friends. It's just I, him. Can we please talk? That's all you hear. Oh. Okay. You don't know if he's alone in the room. Yeah. Start talking. So as you open it, you do see that um, he is standing behind his big hulking orc bodyguard, who also has his hands up in the air. And he's like, please don't, don't shoot. Uh, we can talk, please, please. Give me one reason, Guys. Skelly, not to bomb uh, your room right uh, now. Because I was uh, double crossed too. Um, I wouldn't be down here if I made money from selling you out. I heard you through the door. Who were you calling to come save uh, you? No, I was talking to my friend. He's, he's right here. And he like pats his orc buddy on the head. He's like, I don't, I, I'm, I'm very scared. I'm going to uh, look at the orc. Yeah. Is he worth dying for? Uh, what was this? Uh, so he says, well, what would he mean? Uh, what? Is he worth dying for? Uh, no, that's why my hands are up in the air. Move. I'm not going to do a thing. <laughs> Move. Oh, uh, 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 ooh, um, huh. Uh, my, my, my brother's dead. Man, he killed him. They killed him. And I'm the only one left. So please, I just want to go home to my mama. Just step aside. Uh, all right. Die. All right. And he kind of like, kind of steps aside and sing, and Torn's like freaking out and he kind of backs into the back of the room. And you notice now that this is like an old maintenance uh, like kind of room with like pipes and stuff, but he's he's dressed it to look lavish uh, and <laughs> opulent, but like in a really cheap sort of gaudy way, uh, just to kind of give the illusion that, that you know, he's living in riches still, but is literally in some sort of maintenance closet. I'm going to walk up and he's going to feel the heat of that astrally projected sword right against his chin. Is there a back way out of here? Uh, there, uh, back, lots of back ways. Uh, there is lots of, like, met holes. Well, your friends are coming for us, so you're going to take us. They're not my friends, I'm telling out you. the back. I, I'm not. I, we'll I, discuss I, it later. We got to move. Okay. Whatever you want, I'm telling you. Lead the way. Okay. Then he kind of, like, does this, and then he kind of, like, steps by all of you. He's like, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay. I'm nice gonna to see you again. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna patch into frame. We got him. Uh, he's taking us out a different way. What, what has happened in that time since I jumped back into the car? Yeah. So you jump back into the car into yourself. Into and, yeah. Yeah, and then you kind of like look up. Where is this compartment in your car? Just so, so you if kind you of understand. like, if you, it, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a Jeep. So if you open up like the trunk part underneath like where the spare tire would be is the compartment that i open up and crawl into so, okay so it's like on the bottom all right so you're, you're you're in that compartment when you come yes. to and you hear I hear anything around so you're in the trunk area not the, the trunk area yeah. yeah you hear like around the trunk area i'm jumping uh, into the vehicle. outside I'm jumping into the vehicle so i can access yeah and light. you access the cameras and there is a ghoul kind of like uh, seems young kind of like sniffing at the trunk Okay. It had come out and, and the manhole is open. In the mind of the Jeep as myself, I kind of let out a sigh, but that's just <laughs> internal. Uh, all right. Uh, just if you, can, if you can send me where you're going to be. I'll keep you updated. I'll meet you there. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll keep you updated. I'm just and uh, I go sure. behind the, where the bodyguard has been sitting down, pat him on the shoulder with my gun. It was like, come on, you're coming too, buddy. Oh, oh, all right. That's fine. Um, and Torin starts, he says, the quickest way is the way, that way over there where you came in the first time. It takes very, very close. Did you not understand what the fuck I just said? I did the back door. Yes. What? Okay. Uh, okay. This way, please. All right. So he kind of turns down and then he walks where the water was running and he kind of starts down that, that pathway. You all follow at yeah. this point? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, you all follow for... Go ahead. While we're walking, you could answer some questions, too. Okay. They, I, okay. I will explain everything, I, I promise. Um, after our meeting, I left with my, fr- with my friends. Uh, and the guy starts weeping again. And he says, uh, we were walking and then somebody came on us and uh, Timmy turned around and he got shot and we had to leave him and we ran and then I ditched my comm link and then I came down here and they made a deal because this is where I come when there's trouble because they are sending people to kill me. I think uh, I am wrapped up in this. I knew nothing about what was going to happen to you, I promise. I want to do perception check. Yeah, sure. Which is 13... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so plus two of these. Oof. Um, two ones on that. Four. Okay. Um, you get the sense he's telling the truth. Like, he's in hiding, he ditched his phone, so they couldn't find him. You saw on the camera that there was one, and then like it all tracks with what you've seen. So who's they? Uh, the, well, I don't know, but this Mr. Johnson, he's a little eccentric, uh, very eccentric actually. He, he goes by the name The Wizard, and uh, you, I can tell you where to find him, but um, he sent me on this, he gave me this job for you to try to test, to see how you would do, and then maybe you could be, do more jobs for him. This is the way that it goes, but then it all went very bad. I heard you were whatever, ex and then that was it. And then they sent somebody after us. He did not, he did not just, he, yeah, that he did. did not just happen. <laughs> How's the bucket I, I am very scared. How's the bucket involved? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. How's the bucket involved? Who, who's the bucket? Bit bucket. Bit bucket. The bit, I, I don't. I don't know any bit bucket. So this wizard came to you and said they just wanted you he, to test he us. He doesn't come to me. See, he's very like I said. He's very kind of weird. You're gonna have to he name doesn't names. like. What's that? You're gonna have to name names. Well, he's the name the wizard, and you have to go see him, and you only see him in his world. He does like this virtual thing. And he's he only meets with people virtually. Um, and you can. And how do you make how do you find him, virtually? Uh, you have to go to this place. Uh, it's called the Escapist Den. Oh, and there's like virtual me. reality VR things you put over your head for those that don't have things. And then you play this game, and then that's when you meet him. And it's a front for when. And he as meets soon people. as he says the Escapist Den, yeah, like alarms go off in my head because uh, I know that name. Yep. Anjali doesn't know how she knows that. Yeah, so your contact is, is the manager at that place. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah. a place you go to often. And basically what it is, is when people want to escape in um, the sixth world, they go to something called the escapist den. And there are typically a number of different activities that you can partake in at these places to escape. So as in a den of iniquity or as in escape, as in flee? Uh, there are den of iniquity type experiences there, but there are also other types of experiences. It's just places to, to disappear. It's, it's to, to escape. escape, it's to have fun, whatever it's to leave means. this world, it's to, to whatever in any way that you would like to, as long as you have the new yen to do it. Do we know how to get there? We do. Yeah, you absolutely would. We can only get there in VR, though. Right? What's that? We can only get there in VR. No, it's no. a physical building. It's a physical oh, building. And when oh, you oh. get there, they have a VR room. And he's saying that the wizard oh. meets with people in this VR room. Oh. In, in VR, using this room. Right. Okay. You think that's something you might be up for? I think the only, I think only the three of us can actually, well, he's not here, but I think over the comms, we can say, mm-hmm. I think only three of us can go in with our equipment. We yeah. have to find somewhere for the two of you to join, but we'd need someone outside anyway. But as we're walking we, and talking, uh, click our heels together three times and off to see this fucking wizard. I don't like it very much. Listen, listen, I will give you everything I have. Oh, you're have, coming with and us. Told, he, he goes, I'm going to go in my pocket. Please don't cut my neck from my body, okay? And he pulls out, he pulls out a silver cred stick. And he says, this, yeah, there's 5,000 yen, yen on this. I will give this to you. I was going to anyways. I was keeping it because they cheated you out of the rest of your money and I still want to do business with you. Oh, sure. He still wants to do business with... I just take it out of his hand. Yeah, we'll for no that. other... Okay, I have no use for it. I have a very nice apartment that you almost blew up, but it's okay. Uh, we can... Uh... Will you keep me safe? Because okay. they're trying to kill me too. 
I was just trying to do you a favor and bring you some work and things. In oh. fairness, he was chased by someone. And almost killed. It's you true. stop talking now. Team. Is this thing working? I hear him. Okay. We keep him alive. We protect him or we leave him here. What's the call? We protect him so we can kill him later if we have to. That's not a bad idea. All in favor say aye. 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 Is there anything that we have? Wait. That is. That wasn't an eye from frame. I said, hmm. All right. Is there anything that we have that is like a tracker that we could stick on him that he can't take off? Mm. That he can't take off? Probably not, unless he doesn't know that you have it. You guys have RF, uh, RFID D tags that mm. you can like slip in a pocket or something and hope that he doesn't find it. They're little microchips, like Apple tags. We can bring them with us. You swallow it. I was just going to say the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Eat this. Oh, and then I can go and then you can find me until I poop. Pretty much. Okay. We'll have a couple of hours. <laughs> All right. He opens his mouth. Uh, I'll pop it. Pop it in there. Okay. Open uh, his mouth. Uh, right. Don't eat anything between now and then, all right? At all? At all. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay yes. yes, no problem. Right. For what it's worth, it's going to hurt on the way out. That's true, it really is. <laughs> it's not very nice. Hey, you haven't been very nice to us, have you? <laughs> For what you doing? almost got us killed by a giant, a giant hunk killed. of I non-bleeding I was, I was vampire just a... person thing. I was just a puppet. I didn't know this was going to happen. I was just doing my I'm business. I'm going to lose the so I'm going to... Yeah. It's going to yeah. drop out. I'm just yeah. going to grab him by his collar. I'm going to pull him close. <laughs> I need you to understand that you fucked us here. And then I'm going to take his head and I'm going to turn it towards his bodyguard. That man lost his brother. Do you understand that? Yes. To so show a little fucking remorse. He was, I, I, show a little fucking remorse. I'm so sad. <laughs> Please make it stop. I miss him so much. Even his bad breath. All right, enough. My dear, my daddy. Is there any oh, too much. Is there any value I, I, in I, trying I, to bring so the work? Sad. The work? Yeah, you think you'd want to? Is there any what? Any value in bringing the orc with us as a? An Are associate. You... Oh man, uh... I think of having I had like a, a really bad week as it is. Can I just go home to my mama? We should let go of those. Of course. Moments. Anyone that's not all in with us is just going to be a burden. No, you're right. Trigger. You're right. We're sorry about your brother. Uh, thanks. Truly. He was my twin. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You like cigars? I love cigars. Oh, thanks, man. He takes it. Hey. Tell your mama you love her. Oh, well, I will. Thank Get out you. of here. All right. And he kind of like turns and he like kind of like saunters down the sewer grate till he disappears i'm gonna hand you the silver cred stick you paid frenchy before out of your money now that's yours um okay so the way out is up here through there this grate takes you to the street no cameras in this area you are you should be okay Escape is then, as you know, is about 15 minutes west. But you know where it is. You know we'll find you. Yes, just don't tell anybody where I am, please. Don't tell anybody where we are. Of course not. I haven't yet. But I didn't know until now. But it doesn't matter. It does. I, I'm not doing myself any favors. No, you're no, not. I'm not. Okay. Can I go? <sighs> but yeah, I don't want to be around that. I don't want to be around either. At... Okay. Well, that's the thing. May I? Oh, because he's walking away, right? Yeah. I'm st he's or starting to back off, b back up. So one second, Skelly. Oh, no. At least you were honest in the end. Uh... <laughs> he takes another two steps back. Are you not going to shake the man's hand? As he grabs my hand, 
fire erupts from my hand, burning the center of his palm. Okay. Ooh. All right. Uh, probably, he, oh. like, he pulls it back and like smoke billows from it. And Just he holds small. It, and he's like, I get it. That's your last warning, Skelly. Okay. Next time, it's yes. the rest of you. And you don't give me another damn job until that's healed. Oh, okay. I quit. And I immediately just turn around. I'm good. Like, <laughs> I, I'm going to take a basket weaving or something. <laughs> a family business, open up a little shop somewhere. It's okay. My family were corporate people. My parents were involved in this. I just thought I could make a name for myself. It's okay. I used to basket weave with this. Do we really need his life story, okay, everybody. Oh, right? I know. Yeah, I, know. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, I know. I immediately turn go. around and I leave him. Yeah, yeah. Like, he turns um, around. And he like skitters away. Like uh, his his one of his one of his fluffy slippers like flies in the air <laughs> as he's kind of running off. I would like to make a suggestion. Yeah. Uh, that we head to the safe house and recuperate before we do the escapist step. Yes. Yeah. I think. Click click. This thing working. Yeah. Uh. Frayne, you all right? I, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, everything's fine up here. I'm already tracking where you were. The ultrasound that I had from the drone earlier actually maps the interior. Uh, so wherever they're heading, I, I already can meet you wherever you're gonna, wherever you popped up. We're gonna rendezvous at the safe house. Where are you gonna meet us? Where we pop up? Pick I'm gonna up. meet you where we pop up. Right. And I get us there faster. Yep. So I'll show up. Doors are already open. We're getting in. Yeah. yeah, I get in um, and I try not to touch anything in his car because I remember I had vampire all over my hands. Yeah, we're gross. I'm sorry. I kind of wipe a tube off that wipe comes off my out hands. and there's like hand sanitizer. Oh, excellent. And everything already I'm equipped. Just, I'm very excellent. <laughs> well prepared. He's got to, you know, clean up after. Uh, you okay there? I, oh, I haven't felt as good in years. There's like another like wipey that pop pops up in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, I drive. I need a drink. Seriously. Same. Yeah. Well, Outlaw's got some good stuff at the safe house. Things He's going to be mad when it's all gone. <laughs> you all head back to the safe house. You get there safely. Um, as you enter, you realize that a lot of his gear is gone. So he has left now for whatever job he was Next heading job. to. Um, as you kind of settle in. It is late in the evening. You are very tired. Uh, I'm assuming you all find a corner to sleep, or is there anything you'd like to do before you go to sleep? I'm just going to check the word on the street again, like like if there's anything new that's popped up on the yeah on the news. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing deep in. Like I don't know. I don't need to go in. In. Sure. Um. Nothing that you can tell. Um. That applies to you. Um. As you kind of search you do realize that there is now an apb out for torin that had been updated since the last time you checked um and you have to now that you have been excommunicated for shadow run network you would have to hack the shadow run network to find out if there's a price on his head or if there's any other information there but as far as just like police band radio goes that there is a apb out for all of you and for him oh, okay. uh, and that uh armed and dangerous like this whole thing that happened at the apartment was didn't help your case much. Right. The... So whatever Big Ten Corporation is coming after us is also sick the authorities on him. On on Torin. On Torin. Uh I I look on our way back to the safe house, knowing that we're now heading back to where Outlaw was. On the way back there, I would have checked to see if he responded to any of my attempts to communicate to him. Yeah. So sometime between uh, exploding vampires mm -hmm. um somewhere in there uh he responded and asked you what was wrong and he said he's on his way out oh, and he was on his way, way out. out like out, out okay of the, so he did respond and to use and to use the safe house as you will. okay um uh, i am going to send him a message while okay. we're settling down sure uh and uh, it's going to be basically a, a, like a voicemail that i know he can access Hey, big man. Uh, so uh, I want to have a conversation with you at some point when we when we get a moment. I know you know that we're in trouble, and I know every time I'm in trouble, you seem to swoop in and help get me out of that. And I'll always appreciate you for what you do for me. But I think that there's something you know that I don't. 
and I'm here with Trigger, and Trigger seems to have a very different experience of you than I do. I'm really curious about what that is. So I'd love to have a talk. Okay. Right away, you get a, a text message back uh, that says um, he'll call you in the morning when he's off his flight. Okay. That's very reassuring to me. Okay. All right. I think, uh, I think we're all sort of sitting around passing the drink bottle around. And uh, things might quiet down a little bit, and I'll pull out a photograph. I don't know when's the last time anybody saw a real photograph in this world, but I've got a, a, a hard copy, and it's faded, really, really, really faded. And uh, tears well up in my eyes. And I pass the photo around. What do I see? It's my family. My mother, Maria, my father, Chino, and that's my son, Chino Lee. Are you in this? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm also there on the ride. I look, uh, I look like I'm 25, 26, younger, much younger. That's why I do what I do. I don't know if we're going to survive any of this shit. That's okay for me, but I've lived a long life. Um, You're my family now. It's been a long time since I... We're going to make it through this together. We are. I'm sorry to ask, but I have to know what, what happened. What happened to them? And I look at Free. Oh, excuse me. And I look at Blaze. When this all started, they came for us first. All of our cultures, the indigenous folk, we always believed in magic. Everyone said we were crazy. Said it wasn't real. Beat it out of us. When they figured it was real, they came and they stole it from us. Us. My son was like you. They took him. They took everyone that was like him. And I couldn't... Hey, uh, I, I hand him a drink and a, and a peat and a cloth. <laughs> How old is this fool? It's more than a hundred years old. I lose track. How old? More than a hundred. I couldn't stop him then. So I, I did this and I'll take my shirt off and you can see the scars from the subdermal implants um, and you see that vein tr tracking that black ichor tracking all throughout and it's more prominent underneath my shirt and uh i was one of the first i volunteered it was before they perfected any of the bullshit the metal's degrading been degraded for a long time I only have one thing I got to do before I'm okay to let go. Well, two now. I haven't told anyone that ever. You all saved my life several times today. And I look at you. My son. When I look at you, I see my son. I'm not gonna lose him twice. <clears throat> to family. To family. Family. Mm. Liv like raises her glass, but you you can 
notice that she doesn't say to family and she's like holding back all of her emotions. Uh, Frank raises his glass and just gives a nod of acknowledgement. I'm sorry for what happened. No one ever said sorry. I'll just go up to him and hug him around his waist. Sorry. Sorry. I say sorry a lot, so... But I am sorry. I don't know why they did that to us. Because they could. Sometimes that's all the reason they need. I uh, I tried to help my family, but I just ended up being a big disappointment. How could you be a disappointment to anyone? You're incredible. I saw you out there. You're, you're amazing. They put all their hope in me. Um, I helped um, raise money for my family who basically had nothing. Um, competing with different gy gymnastics competitions and they put all their hope in me. And for a long time, I was, I was really good. Um, but then I had to go and be this stupid height and also being an elf, you know, I just didn't fit. And um, just they put all their hope in me to survive. And I let them down. So I couldn't help them. I can barely help myself. And so I didn't think I'd have a family again. I'm so, so sorry for what happened to you. Nobody should have gone through that. And I just, makes me feel like so dumb for the things that like, being so disappointed in myself over like seemingly stupid shit. You know, it just makes me feel like a bigger failure. I think as she's saying this, something I haven't felt in a long time clicks. And it's that paternal instinct that I've pushed down and compacted and put to a box and buried in flickers. And I look around and I see the people here and I walk up to you and slowly I I just lift your chin up. I've only known you for a short amount of time, but I'm proud of you. Proud of all of you. They can't take this from us. This is how we win. I don't understand what's happening right now. Excuse me. I don't understand what's happening. I, I'm, I feel like I'm like five steps behind the rest of you right now because I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know people that do this. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we met today. Yeah. It, 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 this is absurd. Yeah. I get it. We're going through something and we got to have each other's backs. And I'm sorry that shit happened yeah. to you all. I really am. But I, I don't know you well enough to declare you as my family. I want to. And I, I have your back. But this feels like a trick. Because people don't talk to people like this and let down their walls like this and try to get something out of it. It just feels really weird to me. That's okay too, Frank. Trust us to be earned. Yeah. And it's and not. I get it. And 
And people lie. People do lie. But look, it's been a long day. Yeah. I don't know how you've lived this long. Yeah. I mean, I get it. That is something that you've had people do to you. Yeah. But if you... If what's motivating you is a vengeance that keeps you alive way longer than you should be, and then you come in here and start talking to what's the way that you're talking to. I don't know what's going on with you, but I want to know. Because there's something there. Something there. Aren't we're you not family yet. Aren't you just like... I leave. I'm going into Outlaw's room. Okay. <laughs> you disappear into Outlaw's room. And as you enter, first of all, plot points all around. So many. As you enter Outlaw's room, you kind of lie down and you just think about the day, the last day of action. And there's a lot of emotions, some of which you aren't ready to approach or deal with or even contemplate. And sleep finds you. And then you wake. But now you feel like you're floating in what feels like an abyss. Darkness. You can't see. You can't feel. Almost like a sensory deprivation tank where you float. You can feel that you're not wearing any clothing. You can feel like you are perhaps maybe a younger version of yourself. And as you stare out into that nothingness and your body starts to panic and you start to get anxiety that causes your chest to almost beat out of its skin. And you start to flail and freak out until you hear a voice. And it is the most calming, angelic voice you've ever heard. And in that moment, in this place, wherever this is, you remember that that voice is probably one of, if not the only childhood memory you still have. And you hear that voice say, it's okay, number three. You'll be okay. And that is where we're going to end the session. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, guy. Oh, I never said yeah, guy in my life. That's not <laughs> something I say. <laughs> But it's what came out of me. Yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 guy. Yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. That's it. That's the official sign off. Yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. It is a honor to play with you all. Likewise. We have five more episodes to play. So if we ended now, I'd be happy. Like this is this has been an incredible experience, even thus far. But you're not rid of but us. But we're yet. not yet. <laughs> we have more vampire guts to throw off the <laughs> Maybe. Uh, at the very least, we have another giveaway next episode. If you wanted yeah. this giveaway, we're still rolling. We're this still episode. <laughs> You get an anarchy book again, excommunication, oh. write it in the oh. two M's uh, in the chat. E-X-C-O-N-M-U-N-A-T-I-O-N -N -N uh, for the chance to bring this. Right. Catalyst, we'll send it to you. It's fantastic. Check that out. Um, as always, if you liked what you saw tonight, mm -hmm. make sure that you like, that you subscribe, that you follow. Check out the after show on the Catalyst YouTube page. And we will see you next week. I love you all. Take care of each other. I love all of you. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Yeah.